something happened in this buzzword game that I really want to talk about. First, I'm going to show the clip and then I'm going to tell you some more information. I'm just going to go score so we win the game. We don't need Ray, by the way. Okay. Just get a piece then at least. Okay. Nice. And now my score also gets interrupted because... <laughs> because my team had to rip Ray and my score gets interrupted. I think we had bigger overcaps. Nope, we didn't. So I hope you made your own opinion on this play now. I actually never lost a game like this where the Ray Tornado, Tornado stopped my score, which made us lose. We actually lost this game by 20 points in the end. And I posted this clip on Twitter knowing exactly what is going to happen. I knew that I would get blamed for this. I knew it. And yes, more than half the comments were saying, Chris, why did you backcap? Why weren't you at the Ray fight? It is your fault you should have chased down Gardevoir. Um, I was also reading stuff like, it is solo queue, right? Your teammates are going to do weird things. So you should be ready for it. You should always do what your teammates do. Which is funny to tell me, because I think I'm probably the player with the most, or one of the most solo queue games in the entire game, with a very high win rate, playing it every single day, um, for season and season, just solo queue. I know exactly that I, my teammates are not reliable. And that's the funny part. We're gonna head towards this clip in a second again. Just playing a bit of late game right here to go and explain the decision making a bit more. And then we're gonna really analyze it and talk about it. I think in general, Unite players have a very bad understanding on how to close out games properly, right? There's a lot of times where you don't have to go for Rayquaza and your team goes for Rayquaza. There's a lot of times where you should go for Rayquaza and your teammates don't. So there's a lot of weird things. But yeah, I exactly expected the comments to be like, why did you backcap? You should have helped that Ray. And but it's funny to me that people are trying to teach me how to play solo queue. Because the funny part is, because my teammate's not reliable, that's exactly why I went for the score. Because if I get the score in, we win. Doesn't matter what, right? We win a guaranteed 100%. It's only God of War life, even if God of War gets Ray somehow, which again, we shouldn't even be on Ray. Gonna go in the scenario again in a second. We should not be at Ray to begin with, right? There's no need for it. There's only one of the enemy team alive. There's 30 seconds left. And we just need one score and the game is secured. So I went for the score knowing that in case my team messes up on Ray as well, that we still win anyways. Because there was only Gardevoir left, they can probably get rid of the shield as well. 1v3 in case Gardevoir steals it. And the shield, she can't even score to begin with, right? And that one score that I did would secure the win, doesn't matter what, in case we somehow lose Ray. Because if we somehow lose Ray, even if I'm at Ray, and we lose it somehow to Gardevoir 1v4, which has happened, I've lost Rayquazas to a Clefable basic attack, to a Blissey basic attack. I've seen people lose Rayquaza to Comfy basic attack, right? All of these things can happen. Also, this scenario right here, my team going down right before Ray with 3 night moves up. Quite unfortunate, actually Blaze again, of course, doesn't count with 3 night move up. Just going down right there, so of course, I had to go for a Miracle play right here. Um, so yeah, like it's just very, very questionable. So you, you can lose rate to a lot of different things in this game, even 1v4. And if we lose rate to rate to, to Gardevoir 1v4, then no one of us is going to make it to score, like to even try, because all of the enemy team are currently respawning, right? There was just no reason for it. So let's go towards this right here. We I'm gonna respawn right here. We wipe the enemy team, and there's literally the cross left right here. We go for the crosser. And now my Miskirada is starting up Ray. So now I get a speed boost. But look, the Gardevoir is already quite up, right? So the Gardevoir is quite, quite far away right here. And I could have chased it on, but like, there's just no reason to do Ray. We have 33 seconds left. The enemies have no chance to rip Ray. They don't even have Pokemon to, like, do Ray with, right? Absolutely zero chance they can do anything in this scenario. And this score, I was like, I'm just going to score here in case my team messes up on Rayquaza. We are going to win. <laughs> Doesn't matter what. But as you as you know, as you know what happened, the Gardevoir goes in, steals it one against four, and this Ray Tornado interrupts my score, which made us end up losing. So and now people are like, yeah, you should have just been at Ray, right? And see my team even. The Gardevoir goes top lane. Exactly what happens. And they get Gardevoir shield. And we end up losing. Believe it or not, we end up losing by one score. 20 points. I mean, less than 20 points even. So, these are the scenarios that, like, I, it, it just makes no sense. Look how low my team is as well. Like, after this scenario, Grinja goes forward, and you might think, yeah, 
just chase down the Gardevoir right here. But like, I don't even know. Like, it's already it's already somewhere up here. It's pretty far away. So even if I chase it down right here, it's still making it to Ray. Doesn't matter what, right? Like, it can still outkite me. I will not reach it. I have only like one lunch up. Of course, I had my bit of move speed there, but I'm not going to guarantee reach it either. And yes, I could maybe get Rayquaza as a last hit, but why would I risk it? Why would I risk losing the last hit to Gardevoir right here? It's not like it's 1% guaranteed either. There's a lot of things going on, right? But again, I have lost Rayquaza to the, the craziest things ever. And yeah, like, it's, it's ridiculous. It's just, I don't even know how much my cap was left in as well. So if you just down to Ray, just let me score. You have 30 seconds left. We're going to, to win. And just to make sure to showcase that this is really true, the comments, I'm going to go over some of these comments as well now and really showcase that it actually happened. So right here, we have the tweet. You can see I, I posted my team found a new way to lose a 1% win. By that, I mean not about uh, like bursting Rayquaza, but about the tornado of losing Rayquaza actually stopping my thing. So why aren't you at the Ray fight, though? That's also funny. What Ray fight? My team is just doing it on their own. <laughs> there is no Ray fight even going on. Like, I don't know what Ray fight they're talking about. It's just us doing Ray for no reason. There's no fight going on. It's just the Gardevoir walking up and pretty much securing. I mean, if you are to keep the Gardevoir away from Ray, though, I literally don't think I could even just necessarily go for her. Like, again, she was already very far away from me. Of course, I had my speed boost up. But, like, and... Uh, there's no point, even if may maybe even if we get Ray, we might not even score 100% either, because the entire enemy team is about to respawn as well, right? We had four alive. We're quite low. I mean, it's not even guaranteed we score with Ray, but of course, like, uh, probably one of us would have scored if we get Ray, definitely. But it's 30 seconds left with one score deciding the game. It just doesn't really make any sense to me. I mean, they shouldn't have ripped Ray, but you let a Gardevoir go unchecked. I don't think I let a Gardevoir go unchecked. We knew exactly where Gardevoir was. It was not unchecked. Like, it's, it's just insane to me that I feel like I'm getting blame for my team going for this. Why are you backcapping when your team is fighting Ray? This is also hilarious that someone calls this backcapping. This is not backcapping. The entire enemy team is gone. They're respawning. There's no backcapping going on. I'm going for the winning score. Big difference to backcapping. So I feel like that was quite hilarious. Maybe they just hate their backcapper teammates. This is not, this is not backcapping. Backcapping is when your entire team is team fighting over something, and you're scoring. That is backcapping. But the entire team was gone, except for one person. And, uh, but yeah, but there's also some, like, the reply of this post on it, we absolutely were positioned to get the people off when your team could easily take the Ray 1v3. No way people are blaming you for this. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> thanks to people like that, I can see Rayquaza with Gardevoir. It's just, like, it's just so funny um, to see some of these comments. And this is why you don't ever trust your randoms. And that makes sense, of course, right? Like, we, we don't we don't really trust randoms. And this, like, this was never backcap in solo queue. That's just asking to lose if they're four down. And I was like, okay, please teach me more about solo queue. It's just so funny that someone is trying to teach me how to win games in solo queue. It is quite, quite funny. Because often I do that as well. But if you watch my streams, my videos, often I will not do what my teammates do. Because my teammates do very questionable stuff. And I go for the play that has the highest chance of winning. And to me... The score was the highest chance of winning, because, again, one last time, I thought if my team somehow messes up Ray, and it's not like guaranteed, it's not guaranteed that I get Ray either. It's not guaranteed I get Ray. Not, right? There's a percentage chance that God of War still gets it, because it has all this love burst with Psychic, Psyshock together. It's not guaranteed I'm getting the Ray 1%. So I went for the play that I thought even has a higher chance of winning, which is go for the one score in case my team messes up at Ray. Turns out that was enough. So let me know in the comments what you think about this. If it was really my fault or something, I mean, I guess 50-50 on certain opinions. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It doesn't matter what. And I will see you guys in the next video.